She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I only run over that fucking curve. Don't respect the girl. He's can get it on. He's got the dog. He's got the dog. He's can get it on. He's got the dog. 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 And her being able to make more, uh, to be able to
and they were getting older. And I was living in Laval at the time, and I decided that I was going to buy a condo in Lachine. I, did, I decided to buy a condo in Lachine because I wanted to be closer to my parents because my father was sick, and it was the best decision I've ever made. So whether you like Lachine or not, Chantal, I don't give a shit. I have my reasons for coming here, and actually it's a very beautiful place, as you saw, five minutes away from the water. Nobody gives a shit about Lachine. Lachine is boring. And Didi, you should shave your head because your hair looks way worse than being bald. I'm just telling you, but I look way bald better than you. And, I'm sorry, at 47, you cannot do more than me, bitch. You cannot. You probably, like, honestly, you could hardly spread your legs to get your f***ing a So what now? You want me to show you on my OnlyFans all the positions I can do now? I just walked 25 minutes, biatch. What? Huh? What? Yeah, let's not go there. Hold on a second. She just walked 25 minutes. And she wants to show on OnlyFans all the... First of all, I'll never go on your OnlyFans. I'll never be a member, and I don't want to see all the positions you can. But the last I heard, the only position that she do is starfish. Can she do more than me? Uh, physically? No, she can't. Let's be realistic and just honest and facts. She can't. Huffing and puffing. When she walks, huffing and puffing, huffing and puffing. Physically, you cannot, Chantal, do more than I do. I'm 10 years older than you. You cannot. Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything. <laughs> anything better, I can do. Anything better. Is that important too, first of all? Anything better, I can do. Anything. Like, who, who talks like that? Why don't you start by cooking when you're standing up cooking? That's, a, that's actually a good point. Start, start with that. Actually, cutting vegetables or cutting anything on it, you know, while you're sitting is not good. And that's why you're mad. That's why you can't keep my fucking name out to your mouth, bitch. Because you're nobody. You are nobody. You were obsessed with me and wanted to insert yourself in my life. I was obsessed with her, and that's why I wanted to insert myself in her life. So I saw him. Confused. I recognized him. And uh, that's how uh, I, I, I made contact with Matter. That's really what it boils down to. And now you see it's not working. Have fun with my scraps. My scrap ring, my scrap fucking slippers. I'm pretty sure my scrap wig is there. Okay, let's adjust this. The ring, the ring was lying around the house. Costume jewelry for me. Oh, it's a nice ring, put it on, whatever. I don't want your scrap, your, your, your ring means nothing to me. It's just, oh, this matches my outfit, it's a ring, whatever. To me, it's costume jewelry, that's it. The wig, I swear I haven't fucking touched it. I have not even touched it since it's been here. Matter made some parodies with it, not me. I ain't touching it. That's hilarious. Those slippers are probably burnt in some sort of 1-800-got-junk truck right now. Um, did I wear them when I was in Gatineau? You guys saw it? Yes, I did. I did, you know? And she keeps talking about the size of my feet. Well, your fucking slippers fit me perfectly, honey. So, and they were gross, by the way, but I did not bring slippers with me and there were slippers. What's the big deal? Fuck, you know what? When people go to somebody's house and they have slippers, other people wore those slippers. She's gonna obsess about these slippers again. But I'm obsessed with her because of a wig, because of a ring, and because of slippers. That's why I'm obsessed with her. Oh, and my scrap abusive ex-fucking boyfriend. Bye, enjoy it. No one gives a shit. This uh, scrappy ex-boyfriend that she's, you know, um, said for you guys for like the past year that she loves him uh you know that she wants to be with him back and forth flipping back and forth flip flop flip flop flip flop a few weeks ago you'd rather be in Dee Dee's purple mattress than me in a hotel with me yeah that's exactly what he's saying and that's when she lost it as well and started harassing him so she forgets though she says what she remembers she's got a selective memory about you know how things what happened and you have 150 people watching you on a good day and two supporters you really want to compare really really be comparing uh, again i'm gonna say this again i don't give a shit about your followers i don't give a, i don't care 92,000 versus a thousand that means nothing to me if i had one follower and you have 92 that's not the point okay you see that kiss it bitch oh the villa's so dirty oh yeah and by the way dd Actually, I have to say, you know, the fact that she's reacting this way with this intensity and you see her cheeks are getting flushed. Well, my cheeks is getting flushed probably because of the wine. But her cheeks are getting flushed. Her blood pressure is going up. When you have that kind of reaction towards somebody, it's because it's 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 bothering you. Like you're angry. You're mad. You're, you you know, you, you, you can't talk in a calm manner. I can because she means nothing to me. She, she says, I hate her. I hate her. I have a hard time using the word hate. But after what she's done to me, uh, what she said about me, I can, yeah, I can say that she's up there in regards to somebody that I dislike. I can't even say it. I can't say the word I hate her. I don't say hate. I hate Hitler. Hitler, I hate. We're done. We're cut. Ah, finito. Do I have to cut a cord? What don't you get? Leave my name out your mouth. Don't talk about me. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't see the truth. She doesn't understand. She's like, cut, cut, cut. I'm cut. It's out. But it's when, because she wants. She's making it sound like now we're talking about her and we can't get over it. No, you keep talking about us. Even if she does a three hour live, it'll be a few times. Even if it totals 10 minutes, she'll talk about me and that. She'll throw it in there, here and there. That's okay. What, do we go on live right away and say, you talk about us, stop talking about it. No. Nobody cares. I don't like you. I hate you. Okay? I will never. You're so bored. You're bored. You're bored. Didi, you're boring. I'm fat, can only walk 20 minutes. Bitch, I can only starfish. Well, guess what? I'm still more interested in than you and it bothers you. 
I don't think she could do half the things that we do outside of YouTube. My routine, I'm always, I'm a go, 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 like to get things done too. Me and Natter have a list of goals and things that we want to do. We're going through them one by one and we don't have to talk about it on YouTube. We get up, we have laundry to do, we clean the house, we do dishes every day. You know, we have, we go out, we go for a walk, we go to the store, uh, we go see my mom. You hate yourself because you're fucking boring. Any, buddy, any man would pick me over you. Any man would pick her over me. Not me. I have been on Plenty of Fish. After my ex passed away, I was on Plenty of Fish for, in 2015, he passed away in October 2015. In 2016, I was on Plenty of Fish. I met a lot of guys. I don't approach, they approached. I met people, lots. Uh, the fact that she says I'm boring, that's your perception. Again, you know, people on YouTube don't know me personally. You don't know me personally in that level, Chantal, because like I said, I always had my doubts about you since February 24th. You keep that in your head. I lost all respect for you. And you man, fat and everything, yes. This size, this size, this fat body will get more men than you. So keep my name out your ugly mouth. Thank you. So am I gonna be here and say, no, I can get more men than you. No, you, I can get more men than you. No, I can get more men than you. This is not what this is about, Chantal. This is stupid talk again, childish. The men are just thinking about getting laid. That's all they think about. And you haven't found one yet that's making you obsessed because you would. The only person you're thinking about and comparing them to is Natter. Oh my God, are they serious? They can't be serious. They cannot be serious. You can, you cannot resist to talk about me. The fact that she just says it that way, you cannot resist to talk about me. Come down, girl. I can resist to talk about you. I just want you, if we, if something is brought up in the chat, whether it's Natter's live or whatever, and something's brought up and I talk about Chantal, is that a reason for her to like do this? No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I'm tired of the age shaming. Well, you're old and you're boring. Get over it. You're just boring, not old, just boring. Because Chantal is so interesting. Chantal has such an interesting life. And I think I've said this before in the live. What does she do? She wakes up in the morning. What is before she used to go? I don't think she's even doing it now, but it was start or she went for coffee. Coffee, Starbucks, Burger King, home, takes some weed, takes a fucking edible, gets stoned, tries to forget about reality, goes to sleep, or eats her fucking life away, gets back up, same routine, same thing. Where's the content? Where's the actual content from her? I made a meatloaf. Yeah, I know. Her fire alarm went off. But I should meatloaf your is your burnt. Fire, your Say it again for the people in the back. Asshole liar! That's all you are. Big liar. Big liar. You see her blood pressure. Her cheeks are getting all red. I never called it the trap house. I called it the trap house. Call it the trap house now. You know that apartment was a piece of shit. So what's your problem? I'm gonna say that she never called it the trap house. Again, here's another lie. Let's expose her lies. Um, you didn't even want to fucking live there. The minute Dee Dee let you move in with her, the minute you were gone, right? The minute Dee Dee let her move in. I didn't let him move in with you. It was discussions that me and him have had prior to, nothing to do with YouTube, private discussions, nothing to do with me letting him come to me. My intentions, um, my intentions of, you know, at, since February 24th, since you uh, put those charges against him, and you know that night that I was trying to contact you, you even read the text message that I sent you on your live that night, my respect for you went down big time. And yes, I was like, you need to get out of here, Nader. As a friend, I'm like, you need to get away from her, you need to get out away from her. So the fact that she, he even moved to Montreal with me wasn't enough for her to figure out, hmm, he just wants a mom to pay, and Dee Dee does look like your mom. Actually, you know what? Thank you for the compliment. If I look like Natter's mother, My thank you for beautiful. the compliment. My mom you just actually complimented me. And you know she's beautiful. So thank you, Chantal. And, she... and there's a lot of reaction channels that take clips of that. So do you want to grow up? This guy <laughs> thinks I'm jealous of Dee Dee. You think I'm jealous? I'm looking at you right in the face right now, asshole. You think I'm jealous of Dee Dee? Really? No, I, no, never mind about him. I think you're jealous of me, Chantal. I'm saying it to you. I do think you're jealous of me. Because your anger should be more, you know, geared only towards him. Me, because you think I inserted myself. No, not the one insertion, I told you already. Uh, people are allowed to have friends, people are allowed to have other people in their life. You never wanted him to have anybody around him, ever, anybody. You even talk shit about any mod that he had or any person that gives a super chat. You have something negative to say about them. Really? The person you constantly told me all year that you didn't fuck and were lying to me about it? Now I laugh at you. You were having relations with Jennifer Corvina. You're dumb, you're desperate. And it's really sad. It's really sad. Yep. Natter does have a lot of people messaging Messenger. 98% of Natter's fans are women. I'm not jealous of them. I'm not jealous if he has a phone conversation with anybody. I don't. Again, he's not hiding anything. They're always on speaker. I think you're better than actually having a conversation or getting to know your people. 
nothing wrong with that. Because that's what they do. They go on there and they talk about me all the time and threaten legal action against me because I'm talking about you. Boo hoo hoo. Whatever's going on between me and you has nothing about what you did to Nada, what you're doing with Nada. So just remember that it's separate between us, okay? So don't worry about my case against you. But now I guess you're just gonna have to put your fucking money where your mouth is and eat it up. Because this is what the consequences of your actions are. Don't blame me. The consequences of my actions are what exactly? The consequences, first of all, the consequences, what are my actions? What, what, what action? I inserted myself, that's the action. That no, I, I'm a public person, that's fine. Um, I inserted myself, nope, I already covered that. Didn't insert myself. Actually, like I said, Natter's allowed to have people around in his life. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, Chantal, just because you and Natter and you wanted to keep him in a cocoon, keep him isolated, it didn't work out for you. It didn't work out. Didi Lulu came in. The reason why he was away with you is because he couldn't be himself. Because he knew that you were going to go talk about him online. So he never. So I'm the person, sorry. you created the person that he was with you. Because I'm, I'm sorry, guys. And I'm sure you guys will all agree to this. And if you don't, that's okay. But if you see him and Chantal in lives in the past, and you see how they interact, and you see how Natter is with her, and then you see how Natter is with me, and how we interact, is there a difference? I think so. I think so. She loves it the most. Yep. He does love me the most, as I said, and I do love it the most. You love the saying, uh, you, love you love it, it the most you love it the most. Yeah, you guys never even put two and two together and tried to realize that maybe that whole thing, that uh, that video that made about, um, will you hear me on the uh, phone with him? We actually already knew each other. And that was just for fun. You guys don't know this, but it was actually just for fun. I already knew him, we were already in conversations, we were already discussing, and it was just for fun. Hey, why don't you call in and pretend like you're a fan? Sure, I'll do it just for fun, why not? It was fun. Never thought about that though. Guys, none of you ever thought about that, but it really was just for fun. Shits and giggles, I would say. Canadians are allergic to shellfish and seafood, and he may buy a bunch of their food. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> She's such a pushover. Oh my god. So I'm a pushover because I got him to buy seafood and fish when he wants to eat fish and seafood. I'm gonna stop them from eating. I'm gonna stop him from eating fish and seafood because I don't like it. Actually, in one of her lives, she also said. I'm better than her because I can eat seafood and she only eat eggs. So he should be with you because you can eat seafood and I don't. Like this is why people are together depending on the food restrictions. So depending on what you eat and what you don't eat, that's how you determine whether you're not you're with somebody. This is why nobody's watching you because you take people for fools, you lie to people and you think it's funny. You think it's a joke. It's funny, I see her nostrils flaring when she talks too all the time. <coughs> so she's big mad. <coughs> I'm not mad at all. She's the right one for him for sure. She's able to take any thing any but of pride she may have had and get rid of it so that he can be happy both of them are losers absolutely that's exactly she they, she has no pride in herself at all i have no pride in myself why why exactly i don't fart on camera so i don't have any pride yeah. in myself so that's why i don't have pride yeah he doesn't love you like you there's no affection like oh watch they're gonna fake it now like even when he <laughs> claimed it's a thing she's he doesn't love her why how do you know are you living in our life are you in our bedroom are you there when we're affectionate yeah. are you there when we're no you don't you don't know anything that's going on she doesn't she can't accept it she can't accept it i will do anything for him i feel safe with him he treats everybody in my life with respect i was laughing i don't care i'm not jealous i don't love you i don't like you i want nothing to do with you so stop talking about me you know that's bullshit because you know when she dropped off that guy at montreal um actually that's what a week ago two weeks ago and she got back in the car and was basically saying how you know his size was a problem which is absolutely wrong which we already discussed in natter's live and natter said it so when she was in the car when she dropped him off and you could tell and i even told natter i'm like ooh, she's starting to come around again you can sense it you can just sense it and she's like Yep, basically I do. I do kind of want Natter, and I want Natter. I want Natter, but you know, not the way he is, but in the way that I see him to be. And this is, yep, I kind of do want Natter. Right? That's how she felt. You too, doo-doo. Let's see your case against me. At this point, I'm the one who's going to have a case against you. A case against me. She's going to have a case against me. Kiss my ass. I'd love to see that. I'd love it. I found out he was fucking so you I'm behind my back, that you lied to me about so effortlessly. What do you, like, how do you even do that? Like, how do you not care about someone else's feelings? But you're such a good person, right? You're such a, a you're such yeah. a mature 47 year old. You have a, such a good head on your shoulders. I do. No, no, don't yes, trust yes. anyone with a greasy comb over people. I didn't trust you, Chantal. I haven't trusted you from the beginning. The minute you left Natter's house in December when you are nice to me and then turned your back on me and started talking shit about me. Ah, I figured it out. Oh, okay, I know what she's like now. Natter was warning me, Natter was telling me, you don't know, she's got five or six different personalities, five or six different personas. No, it can't be. She was really nice to me, she was super sweet, she was okay when she was with her, yeah, nope. Well, this is a lesson, do not trust anyone with a greasy comb over, period! Do not trust anyone with a greasy comb over, period! So now it's because of my hair? 
My hair is the reason why you should trust or not trust somebody. So if you have no hair, I should, what do we should do? Chantel, especially her BFF. I wish a man would tell me he wants to bang my BFF. I will punch a man. Like, seriously. You're gonna punch a man? Jesus, if a man was in there right now, if the roles were reversed and there was a man talking, says, I will punch a woman, that would be wrong. So you shouldn't say things like that. You're gonna punch a man. Oh, that's true too, yeah. That's true. Oh, she was okay with uh, Natter being with Carly when uh, she was gonna Windsor. She was okay with that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm bald, so what? Fuck. Give me a break. Does it matter? What matters is what's in here, right? So now what matters is what's in here. So what's in here, Chantal? You're pure, you're genuine, you're a good person. Well, yeah, you never lied to your matter. VIBs, you never treat them bad, you never talk shit, you never did anything wrong. You're a saint. I did wrong things. I'm not, I'm, I'm not perfect. I can lose weight. Like, when you people think that's a fucking flex or it's an insult, I don't care. Like, I'm living my life fine. Thank you. Honestly, though, it's not a flex. Losing weight, losing weight, having a pretty face, having a condo, having a mortgage. This is not a flex. It's not a flex. It's how you act. It's how you act on your lives. It's how you are as a person. It's all the lies that you did say in your... And people just don't remember or want to forget. So I'm going to a hotel again with that guy. So as soon as she rages, I'm going to a hotel again with that guy because he loves me so much and he really wants me and he thinks I'm a queen Good and he thinks I'm this and he thinks I'm that. No. The only thing the guy's thinking is like, hey, I'm going to get laid again tonight. I think your roommate actually said it too. Traveling three hours to come rent a hotel? Sounds desperate to me. Yeah, you think? Sounds desperate to me too. It's like literally impossible for me to be jealous of Dee Dee at all. Anyone, anyone. Even if he was, even if he was living with a woman with long hair, olive skin, whatever. Whether it's the, if it's the most beautiful person in the it's world that you're living with, it's about it doesn't about matter me. because I'm the most beautiful person. And didn't you know that I, you know I'm better looking than ninety percent of the women here on YouTube? That's what she says. That she's so fucking attractive and she's so hot, and any man would want her. And blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 blah. blah. Weighed a hundred and fucking twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. I listen. Thank you, Tex. I do not, I think I'm very gorgeous though, at the weight I am. I do not, I feel very sexy. I do not care if a woman is thinner. That will never hinder my sexual appeal with myself at all, period. You will not make me jealous with somebody hotter because even if that bitch is tr conventionally hotter, she's not me. She's who would want to be somebody with you, like you, Chantal, who would want to be when you know that anybody that comes close to you is going to be exposed on YouTube. And I know he's bothered and he's extra mad because I'm the one who broke it up with him. I'm the one who dropped him off. So how did I not break up with you? You're lying to everybody, like honestly. The problem is men, especially men like him, will never concede. They never, their pride is like the biggest virtue to them on the planet. She's been living in this fantasy world of Walt Disney. This is not real life. This is not real life. It's not real life. What you have in your head with any man, it's not gonna work. So enjoy being by yourself and start working on yourself, Chantal. She's diagnosing herself. She's never actually got a doctor's diagnosis. So she's diagnosing herself with all this stuff, which is wrong too. But the PTSD thing, drop it. Cause you're shaming anybody who actually had PTSD and you shamed anybody that actually had SA or DV or whatever. So choose your words. You're jealous, you're mad, you want revenge, you're vindictive, yes. But glow up arc. Do you, my girl. She Make is. an appointment for therapy. That's all I have to say. I don't know what you think you have a case over. You're mad that I was mad that you came in and took my boyfriend? What the f I don't have a reason to be mad with these people. No one has fupa. Exactly. No one has my fupa balls. Nobody has my fupa. Nobody has it, okay? It's mine. So that's a flex because she has a fupa and nobody has her fupa? Jeez, I hope. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, okay Chantal. Nobody has your fupa. No, you're right. Nobody does. Thank you.